Hey, I just want to show off a really neat integration here with money.com, allowing you to be able to have a one-time button for creating things like folder structures. Um, so I've got a client here I built this out for, which uh, allows you to be able to easily create a folder structure um, when an opportunity reaches a certain stage. The basic idea behind it is we don't want to necessarily create a folder structure for a client that you don't think is going to close. So there's a specific time in which we want to do it. And I also want to make sure it's a manual process, not an automated process. So again, we don't have a ton of empty folders. So what I have right here, I'm going to show you the demo of the system, is we have a, a link column and it just says create folder. And it's a link and you can see there's a webhook that's tied to it. So if you click on that, that will just redirect you to a blank page. This is a dead link right here, so you can close that out. If we go back here, you'll see that that changed from create folder to now it says drive. If I click on drive, you'll see this is a new brand new folder and you'll see the name is now the name of the uh, item. So demo folder structure generator. Uh, and it creates a bunch of folders within this. If I go into some like design, I now have a bunch of folders within that. So a bunch of subfolders within each other. Uh, and now that link stays there forever. So the idea now is that we have a folder structure built out for this specific client, and now we can go in and add uh, files. Same thing, I have an option here for estimates, which is just creates a group in another board, and then it replaces this link with a link to that group specifically so you can create an estimate. This is for a contract in general contract company and allows you uh, specifically for putting together quick estimates um, for, for clients. So behind the scenes, how that works, I'm using Integra Mat to put together the webhooks and hook everything together. I have a uh, webhook, a uh, custom webhook built out here, which just copies, uh, this, just, this link is just pasted in um, this first column right there. So you'll see right now, it's, just, it's a Google Drive link, but I can replace this with a uh, webhook. And it's super, super simple. So webhook comes in, the only thing that's in the body of the webhook is this pulse ID. Pulse ID is the item ID, so I can identify it and I can go back and create a folder structure based off of it. Uh, I have a webhook response, just letting you know where do we send the person who clicked on this link. Uh, I typically will just add a redirect link, so it'll redirect back to this opportunities board um, rather than having it go somewhere specific. Um, Unfortunately, you can't have it redirect to the folder structure that they, that it created because it's earlier in the sequence. Uh, if not, we risk having somebody have, having to wait until the entire automation is finished before they actually get redirected back to the initial page. So that gets added in there. Uh, this module just allows you to be able to re, uh, get the information of this item. In this case, I just want the folder, I want the item name to put the title in at the top of the folder. And then pretty much all of these additional modules you see right here, Google Drive modules, which create various folders and then subfolders and then sub subfolders and sub sub subfolders within those. So just a bunch of big uh, tree here for various folders. Uh, and you can do whatever you want with this integration. Basically, I'm trying to show off here is that you can use webhooks and use them in place of links here to do one-time actions. Um, I was originally trying to figure out how to build this with the button column that money.com has in the feature, but for one-time actions, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, like creating a file structure. I don't need to have a button dedicated to that because I'm only going to do it one time. So I figured out that having a link column worked just as nice uh, for a button. So by default, whenever you create a new opportunity, it will take a second here, but it'll automatically add a button right there. I'll just call creates, there it is, create folder. So folder has not been created. If I hover over that, you'll see the webhook right there. What's really nice too is that building these webhooks is actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. So the webhook is right there. That's the webhook. And then scroll to the side, you just put a question mark at the end and then your ID of whatever the name of the thing is. So if I go back over here, look at the response. This is the name, the value. Uh, sorry, that's, a, that's the the name of the thing holding the value, and then you do equal sign and you know whatever value. So I just have an automation that another automation within here within Zemmet that just says whenever a new item is created within the board opportunities, then creates I call it priming the links. Uh, fill this link with webhook and then uh, capture that unique ID which is the item ID and paste it in at the very end. So that's, that's the super, super simple, automatically goes as soon as you create a new opportunity. 
I found this works really well um, when doing once-on actions and uh, there's pretty much endless opportunities here to, to build new things out.